today how to solve this problem x raised to power 3 minus into bracket 3 plus root 3 then times x plus 3 equals to 0 from here let's open this bracket with x and uh, this become x raised to power 3 then minus 3x then we have also this minus we multiply this bracket as well so this become minus root 3x now then plus 3 so we open the bracket with x and this minus which is equal to 0 and from here let's represent root 3 with a letter so if y equals to root 3 from here we can also say that squaring both sides we are going to have y squared then if we equals to square this side we have 3 so y square equals to 3, y equals to root 3. So let's write this equation again now in terms of, you know, y. Instead of having root 3 and 3, we have y. So we have x raised to power 3, then minus 3 can be written as y square. So we have y square x, then minus root 3 can be written as y. So that's y times x, that's xy minus xy, then plus root 3 can be written as y squared. So that's plus y squared now, which is equal to 0. Then from here, when we group this, you know, 2, 2, we have what is common here between x raised to power 3 and y squared x. We can take x out from here. And we are having x square here, then minus y square. And from here, what we have is minus y out. And what is left is x, then minus y equals to 0. Then this bracket is representing something of the form of difference of two squares. So we can write it in another way. And say this will be x into bracket x plus y. Then multiply by x minus y. So this is another way of writing this. Difference of 2 square. Then minus y into bracket x minus y equals to 0. So from here, x minus y is common. Let's take it out. And we have x minus y out. Then what is left here is x multiplied by x plus y. Then what is left here is minus y. They equals zero. So when we open this bracket here, inside here we have this as x minus y. Then into bracket we have x square, then plus x y, then minus y, which is equal to zero. So from here we can substitute back the value of y from there y is same thing as root 3 and we can write it as x minus root 3 then multiply by x square plus x times root 3 that's same thing as root 3x because y is now root 3 then minus root 3 equals to 0 so we have substituted by the value of y and here we have two solutions from here we have x minus root 3 equals to 0 or we have x square plus root 3x minus root 3 equals to 0 so from here we can take minus root 3 to this side become plus and we have x equals to root 3 and uh, on this side we have something of the form of quadratic equation where a here is 1 so b is root 3 and c is minus root 3. So when we use the formula that x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So from there, we substitute and we have x equals to minus root 3 plus or minus square root of b square, that's root 3 squared. Then minus 4, A is 1, then C is minus root 3, then over 2 times 1.
and uh, simplifying this further we have x equals to this will give us minus root 3 plus or minus square root of root 3 square square we cancel square root that will be 3 the minus then minus is plus that's plus 4 root 3 then all over 2 so from here as well we can write two solutions out from here so let this one be the first value of x x1 equals to root 3 then x2 you can say this is minus root 3 plus root 3 plus 4 root 3 then over 2 and the x3 equals to minus root 3 minus 3 plus 4 root 3 then over 2 so these are the values of x from this problem thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos and see you in the next class and bye for now